What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the weekly ranking show where we go through all the ATP and WTA changes to the top 10 and to the race to the finals at the end of the year. Let's go start with the ATP. Haven't been too many changes despite Rafa winning in Rome last week. The top 10 for the men this week has not changed. Novak Djokovic, he stays at number one. Daniel Medvedev at number two. Rafa Nadal just behind him at number three. Dominic Team, he's at number four. Stefano Tsitsipas, number five. Alexander Zverev, very close behind at number six. Andre Rublev at number seven. Roger Federer, he's at number eight. Matteo Berrettini at number nine. And Diego Schwartzman rounds out the top 10. Let's go have a look at the race to Turin. And we have Stefano Tsitsipas staying on top for another week. He has collected more points this year than anybody else. We have some changes to all the other rankings here. We have Novak Djokovic. He goes up to number two, while Rublev goes down to number three after Djokovic made the final of Rome. And then Daniel Medvedev, he drops down to number five. Alexander Zverev going up one spot to number four after making the quarterfinals in Rome last week. And Medvedev not doing great on the clay. And the biggest mover of the week has been Rafa Nadal. He's gone up four spots from number 10 all the way up to number six after winning the title in Rome last week. So he's at number six. Karatsev, he goes down to number seven. Her catch, the Miami Open champion, goes down to number eight. Berrettini goes down to number nine. And Yannick Sinner drops down to number 10, rounding out the top 10 for the week for the race to Turin. Having a look now at some of the players that have gone up in the rankings and Riley Opelka. He has gone up 12 spots to number 35 in the world after making the semifinals of Rome last week. And Lorenzo Sonigo, he goes up five spots to number 28 in the world, also making the semifinals of Rome last week. So both semifinalists from last week have gone up in the rankings and are looking to get seeded at the French Open. Some of the players that have dropped down in the last week, Casper Rudd, he was at number 16 last week. He's dropped down five spots to number 21 after failing to defend the points that he made last year, making the semifinals of Rome. And also Kopfer, he's gone down nine spots to number 59 after failing to defend the quarterfinal that he made last year. Let's go have a look at the women's top 10 for the week and Ash Barty, she stays at number one. Naomi Osaka is still at number two with Simona Halep rounding up the top three. We're closely followed by Arena Sabalenka at number four. She is catching Halep at the moment. Sophia Kennan, she's at number five with Alina Svetolina very, very close behind her at number six. Bianca Andreescu is number seven. Serena Williams at number eight. But we have a new world top 10 player, Iga Spiontek. She has gone up six spots to take the number nine spot. That is a career a high for her, a first time in the top 10 for her after winning Rome last week, which pushes the Rome finalist from last week, Pliskova, down one spot to number 10, and Petra Gavitova has dropped out of the top 10 for this week. Having a look at the race to the finals, the race to Shenzhen for the WTA finals, and we've got some big changes. Ash Barty, she stays at number one, but Naomi Osaka and Arena Sabalenka, they switch spots. Sabalenka going up one spot to number two, with Osaka dropping down to number three. Muguruza, she stays at number four. But after a very impressive week last week, Sviontek has rocketed up the rankings and taken the number five spot. She's gone up seven spots from this time last week. She takes the number five spot, pushing down Brady to number six. Mertens goes down to number seven. And Kudamatova goes down to number eight. Svetolina, she's at number nine. And Pagula rounds out the top ten with Mukova dropping down five spots, completely out of the top 10. Let's go have a look at the, some of the players that have gone up in the rankings over the last week, and it's the Americans. They've gone up to career high rankings. Pagula, she's at number 28 in the world. She goes up three spots after a good week last week in Rome. She actually beat Naomi Osaka as well, so a confidence boosting week. And Coco Goff, she's gone up five spots to a career high 30 in the world after a great week in Rome also. So both American ladies doing well on the clay, and at this stage, they'll be seeded going into the French Open in two weeks' time. Having a look at the, some of the players that have dropped down in the rankings over the last Last week, Joe Conta. She's dropped down to number 20 in the world, two spots lower than last week after she failed to defend the points from Rome a couple of years ago. And also Venus Williams, she's gone down 15 spots. She's now 102 in the world. And with that ranking, she's gonna have to rely on wild cards to get into the Grand Slams now. So Venus Williams continues to drop down the rankings now outside the top 100. So there you have it. They are the rankings for the week. Let me know down in the comments below. Who are you most shocked about? Who are you most excited about? Iga Spiontek starting to prove that maybe she can defend her French Open title this year. She played a great week in Rome last week, beating some really, really good players as well. So let me know down in the comments below who are you most shocked about or who are you most excited about getting into the top 10. So there are the rankings for the week. Rafa started to make his move and Sviontek also started to make her move.